Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today I'm going to show you how to make some fun shaker cards really easy using some exclusive dies from Simon Says Stamp. So I'm going to, these bo are both made pretty much the same way. I'm going to show you how to make the kite one and we're going to do it together and it's going to be super fun and super easy. So the first thing you're going to want is a card base and I just made this out of heavyweight, um, half sheet of heavyweight cardstock. And then what you're going to do is take your dies and this is how they come from Simon Says Stamp in a cute little envelope. Although I probably will put them on magnet panels because I'm afraid I will lose them because there are some little pieces. It actually comes as one piece and um, you just kind of clip them apart with clippers if you want to. All right, so what we're going to do is take this piece here. All right, put your other pieces away for right now. And you're going to cut that out of a piece of cardstock that is either the same size as your card base or just a little smaller if you want to have a border. And then you're going to cut this and the tail out of white cardstock, okay? So we have um, we have all these little pieces here for our card. Now I find it handy to have like a little pin or something because uh, sometimes they get stuck in this little pokey hole so you can poke your pieces out of. And then there's these little uh, flags here. Just dig in your bin of scrap paper, find a scrap and cut them out of some colors that look nice with the other papers you're gonna use. And I also cut a piece of paper that will go behind the window so our kite will look beautiful and colored. So the first step is to flip over your piece of paper that has the uh, the big cutout on it, and we'll call that the window, and then use whatever adhesive you prefer, and I think a dry adhesive is going to work best for this, to apply adhesive oops, around your window and try not to tear the paper like I just did. I think it'll probably, uh, it'll be fine. Um, and so then we're going to put our acetate sheet down, and this is just like an office transparency type of deal. And then we are going to take the Big Mama roll of foam. I never look at this. This is like a lifetime supply of foam they sent me. Isn't that crazy? Foam adhesive, and we are going to put that around our window. And I'm maybe leaving like a sixteenth of an inch because um, if you if you have your your foam too far down, all your goodies are gonna like fall down there, and you're not gonna see them in the card. So we want to make sure that when we shake our shaker card, that the the goodies aren't gonna disappear on us. And I like to tear it because I really do not like sticky scissors and having to clean my scissors that much so I'll trim off the ends you know as they stick out over the edge but I try to do most of my stuff just by tearing it to tell you the truth that's how I roll for those of you who don't know because you're watching this on the Simon Says Stamp YouTube channel are you wondering when they lowered their standards I know you are aren't you you're saying geez that's that's not a broadcast professional <laughs> Actually, I was. Um, all right, so we're going to look at that. You can't even see that I tore that. Look at that. See, there are no mistakes in crafting. Just happy accidents. My scissors are sticky. Look at that. I don't like sticky scissors. Okay, well, you know, gotta, we'll save these bits because you know what? They can, use to pr they can be used to prop up our card in other spots. All right. Okay, now we're going to put the goodies in, and I've got these shaker card assortment filler from Simon Says Stamp, and I'm going to choose some colors that will match lovely with my backing paper. So let's do a little bit of pink here. Let's pour some of that in there. This is also really great if you ever get, um, if you're a beater, well, I do all kinds of crafts, you probably do too, I don't know. Um, if you get those beads, sometimes you get them and they're like, they're, I don't know, they're weird and their holes don't match up and you can't get a beading needle through them. That's, you save those for shaker cards, because... They will work fantastic for that. Um, now this foam is a little thin, so if you're going to put anything really thick in your shaker box, you're going to need to double up. I just want to let you know that so you don't freak if you're putting, you know, I don't know, something big and weird in there and it's not shaking. Uh, I'm going to throw in some sequins, and I've spilled my sequins about 35 times today, so that's a lot of fun picking those up, um, <laughs> in case you're wondering. And is there, yeah, this green, I know, put that in there. Let's throw a few. I think it's fun to have some sequins. There we go. That's fascinating, isn't it? Watching me dig through sequins to put them in the thing. I know. Good times. Good, good, uh, good video, right? <laughs> and we'll put a little yellow in there because it's a happy color. I really don't think you could put any of these colors in there. I think it's going to look just fine and dandy. All right. So now we're going to just kind of shove them away from the edge a little bit. And then we're going to remove our tape because we do not want our beads stuck to the tape. That's going to be tragedy and very irritating. So we're going to peel off our tape and we're going to stick the paper onto it. You got to be careful because sometimes you bump it and your beads want to go flying on you. Okay, so then we're just going to plop that right on there, easy as can be. 
And then we're going to add some more tape. I don't know why I say then we're going to. I'm showing you what I'm doing. Gosh. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do three seconds before I do it. That's how I roll. Good video. Okay. And let's see. I think we've got enough sticky there. What I kind of do sometimes is I'll like pull some back. Oh, there's, there's, if I feel like there's an area that's depressed, then um, like this right here, I will trim it and I'll put a little bit of foam tape there. So that way I don't have any sinky bits. There we go. There, ah, see, sealed in. We didn't have a spill. Isn't that great? Okay, now I am going to pull off all of my backing tape here and we're going to stick this on my card base because you know how I love to warn you before we do some integral part of our card making. <laughs> oh my goodness. Something tells me I'm not going to be asked back to the Simon Says Stamp team. <laughs> oh well. All right, so then we're going to put this on here. Look at that. It's already looking pretty nice. Got a nice little border there, just like we planned it. There we go. Okay, now we've got to glue our little um, window pane, I guess we could call it that, and it's going to inlay which is very fancy and we're gonna put that in there with some wet adhesive and here's my little tip I take like Mod Podge or Jewel it or whatever my glue du jour happens to be and I'll put it in these fine tip applicators and then I will just I'm just gonna go around the edges because then I can use the middle of the uh, the kite to hold it while I'm putting it in because I don't really need to glue the middle part I don't think now on the um, on the umbrella card, the shower card, actually, you the hole you cut in the middle is a little bit smaller. They give you that option. This one is going to be more of an inlay, so we're just going to very gently, carefully line it up so we don't end up with a big smudge on our window. And there, that was pretty easy, wasn't it? Okay, now I'm going to put the little squiggle here, the little string. I like to have my loop on the bottom, but you can put your loop up or down however you prefer. It's America, after all. Your loop can go wherever you like. Well, you may be watching from another country. Um, I don't think any countries have any uh, rules about if your loop goes up or down. I could be wrong. There we go. We're going to stick this right there. I'm from Maine, if you didn't notice my charming accent. Okay, now we're going to do some fun things. Let's do a little paper tearing. I've got this pretty gingham paper here. Let's see. Oh, it's wide enough for me to do it like that. I'm just going to tear it. Now, fun fact, tear it toward yourself, and this part will have no white. Tear it away from yourself, and it will have white. So you can adjust that to your preference. So did you know that? That's pretty neat, isn't it? All right, I'm going to put a line of dry adhesive across the bottom. There we go, and we're going to stick our little torn piece there to ground it. Just going to give us a little weight at the bottom of our, our card and make it look very beautiful. And snip off our edges here and here. And then I think we need to put our little, uh, little flags on there. So what I did was I just honestly reached into my scrap pile, picked out a piece of paper that wasn't offensive, you know, looking next to the other papers, and I cut it out. I'm not very fussy. I know some crafters are very fussy and everything has to match very perfectly, but, you know, I I want to have fun when I craft, and I just don't worry about it too much. I know it's going to turn out fine when we're done, and most people don't make cards, and they're just going to be thrilled to pieces that they got a handmade card, so. Um, oh, I'll show you my fancy tool. I call it golf tee with a little poster putty stuck to it, and that's what I use to pick up my little pieces when I'm going to glue them down, and it works just awesome. And it was free because I had a golf tee and poster putty. You might have to spend a dollar if you do not own a golf tee and poster putty. But, oh, I had a couple there because I cut a bunch at once. Oh, and you can cut, like, a bunch. You can stack a bunch of little papers in there and cut those little bow ties out all together. You could even use those for the shakers. And I'll show you here in the baby shower card that I did. Um, I the, uh, the die for the baby shower is a little different. Let's let's uh, let's talk about that. If you have pieces that aren't laying flat, mine seem to be behaving be behaving on me. But if they're not, you could take your stamp blocks. And you can plop them right down while they dry, and that will just kind of hold them in place and hold the glue down and not stick to anything because the acrylic doesn't really stick very well. So that's uh, a bonus. But so for here, if we look at the dies with our um, baby shower one or bridal shower, random shower umbrella springtime card, um, again you get all these pieces. But the cool thing about this is you get these, um, you get this piece here, and that will fit actually inside. So you can cut your window out of this and then layer this on top and be gluing paper to paper, which is a little more secure. But it's completely up to you whether you want that raised out or if you want that in. You could cut the window out of this too. 
up to you. But I cut this out of blue paper and I made these little metallic um, blue shaky sprinkles in there and they actually kind of static cling to the window so they stay up and they just look like little raindrops in there and I think it's kind of cute. Um, so, you know, just a, a different a different use for the dye and again you get all these innards innards, dye, innards, you get all those so you can paper pierce, paper piece and do, you know, stuff like that too for other projects that you might have going on. So you don't have to use these for shakers. That's what they're designed for, but they're fun either way. And save your scraps because you can piece together a bunch of things with the leftovers. Gotta love leftovers. All right, so I stamped happy birthday and I matted it on a scrap of that paper that I had left. And I'm just gonna adhere that down with a little dry adhesive and we are done, my friends. I uh, wanna thank you so much for watching my video today. And I wanna thank Simon Says Stamp for having me on their channel. Cause um, that was really, really fun. I enjoyed these exclusive Simon Says Stamp products and you can find links to all of these in the video description. And uh, just to a little different things I did on this, I just added some fringed paper and I used some paper strips just to add a border because I thought it looked a little plain until I did that. So I hope you enjoyed this. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and go check out my channel, The Frugal Crafter on YouTube. I would love to have you as a subscriber as well. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.